McCullum, who was in good form recently in South Africa. Got a couple of scores, one uh, of note, 80. I think that was in the uh, the middle one day or against South Africa. The only one that the Black Caps won, very close to victory in another one. So uh, the series went 2-1 to South Africa, but this man played a big hand in that uh, one and only win that they had. And he's going to play a big role tonight. He's a big hitter. So is Lou Vincent. You never know what you're going to expect. He loves playing at the Wacker. But he's got to put up with the pace and accuracy of Brett Lee. That one straight in the air. Out first ball. It's not like backyard cricket where you get away with the first ball. He's gone. And that's the perfect start for the Aussies. What a cracking delivery from Brett Lee. Right on the button. Quick. Halfway down, straight, and Adam Gilchrist is uh, listening to us. And Gilly, what a dream start that is! Oh, I tell you what, I was very nervous under that. I had Mr. C next to me screaming, "Gillies, Gillies, Gillies!" There was no doubt with the gloves on. I had to have a go, but yeah, I think, as I say, the uh, the shorter ball might be the option on this wicket. And I think uh, if you want to take on the pace of Brett Lee or Sean Tate or someone like that and try and hit him for six over square leg, I wish them all the best. Gilly, did you call out mine then when it was straight to you? <laughs> Why do you always do that when you get the easy catches, you keep? Well, it was born in under 12, I think. You used to actually follow it up with mine, I've got the gloves on. Where was, where was in that case all? people didn't know. But what was that, Alstonville Cricket Club or something, was it? The under 12s? Yeah, Ganella Bar somewhere in Lismore, mate. <laughs> yeah. Now, Gilly, you see that bloke over on the left on the road, the guy being dunked in the water machine? Yeah. If you'd put that one down, you were going to be over there, <laughs> all right? I have dropped easier than that, believe it or not, Slats. <laughs> To watch this bug, he goes a bit hard here. It's going to be entertaining. Oh well, three slips in place now. Keep it going. And not often you'll see it. Three slips in place for Brett Lee. Second delivery of their innings. And steaming in. really takes a, a lot out of uh, a run chase when you've got a big hitter like Vincent back in the pavilion only facing one ball. And it was a good option from Brett Lee, as we mentioned. It doesn't take too long to warm up these days and it was straight on the money. And, uh, underestimated the short ball, I think, in this form of the game. At times, I think bowlers are always concentrating on the Yorker and getting it up there and the line they bowl, but not so much the short ball. So uh, good thinking from Brett Lee. slips in the 2020 match and a bit of swing away too. Brett Lee bowled superbly in the test series against Sri Lanka. Straight away he's been supported by Michael Clark, the new captain. Three slips in position. Looking forward to this first half hour boys. Not only Brett Lee but Sean Tate who's been out for a while and coming back in just raw and quick and it's going to fly at the Wacker. The fastest pitch some say in the world. pace early on. Yeah, there's no doubt it has been in the past, Bray, but over the last few years, the Wacker has slowed down a little bit, and that's been a frustration to uh, certain cricketers, I think, that one of the, the fastest grounds in the world has lost its characteristics, but what we've seen tonight is that it's looking a bit quicker. It's looking like the groundsman is, is getting maybe the, a, a clay base back that used to be part of the make-up here, but it certainly looks like a quicker pitch than we've seen. Beautiful piece of bowling. Maybe the president's having some say in it, Slats. The greatest fast bowler ever. The president, Dennis Lilly, here. I don't think he'd put up with a pitch at the Wacker that hasn't got pace and bounce. And you know, they're getting out towards the 30 metre line. This is a beautiful delivery there. It's almost unplayable. It was unplayable. Look at this decking away. They need about 158 kilometres an hour. Uh, famous names there's DK Liddy, Ron Marsh. It's uh, an advantage point here at the Wacker, and we said earlier, it's changed so much. Good view behind the slips. That is a terrific start from Brett Lee. One for one, New Zealand. 